Abigail Pogrebin, a distinguished journalist, decided that she wanted to explore Jewish life, Jewish culture, Jewish faith by going around and being nosy and asking prominent Jews questions about their faith or lack of faith and how Judaism influenced them, what part it played in their lives and their careers and success. One of the things that really drew me into this show was just the the strength of the songwriting. The songs are really good. I like them. I love to play them. I love to listen to them. The songs were composed by a whole variety of people. The, the guy who wrote Spring Awakening, Maltby and Shire did a song. Uh, Michael Feinstein. My religion was to spring to make them uncomfortable when they decide for smart people. They're just fun to listen to. I really enjoy it. The most important concept in Judaism to me is that you can break any law of Judaism to save a human life. I love the music and I just like the way it's put together. It sort of kind of reminds me of a review, you know, we've got these monologues and these songs and it's just, it's fun, the music's great and everybody brings something really different. It really, I think, is going to move people. The one song that I do, as if I weren't there, it's so heavy. I mean, I still have to hold back tears. I mean, the fact that it's taken from this book and from these interviews with really, really intelligent people talking about their heritage um, really just makes it really compelling, really compelling. Um, particularly because you have a bunch of basically artistic people talking about how it's influenced their artistic career. And so inherently it just feels like um, some really great media material, which is nice. The end to make a toast, many Muscovitz said, I am deeply moved that my new daughter-in-law, the enemy of my people, has made this huge, beautiful meal for the Seder, while my ungrateful children have done nothing. My own and Demi's semi-precious stone, I got a Jewish phone, I got a moment of 